Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you today to talk to you about, well, actually, I'm not going to, I'm going to actually be showing you some things here. Last week, I had the pleasure of visiting New Camp up there in Sugar Creek, Ohio, and boy, I'll tell you, what a factory, what an operation that, that they have gotten themselves to. Um, it is quite the place to visit when you look at, uh, you know, you, you pull up, it's a, it's a huge building. They've got an um, extensive amount of uh, units on the, on the ground ready to be shipped. And it's quite impressive how they have things set up because of uh, their experience and what, you know, how long they've been doing it. They have really grown to be one of the uh, top tier RV manufacturers in the country and you will see when I'm going through the video what I'm talking about they have lines specifically for the tab 400 for the tab 320 for the tags as well as their Sears truck campers now I did not have time to go down the Sears truck camper line but that is also in the same plant um, they have a mezzanine up above the uh, the plant where they do a lot of their um, plumbing work their cabinet work, uh, the wiring, all the, the internal uh, building to go ahead and be able to send that down below so that things can be installed. So let's get on to this, uh, this tour. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming in from New Camp today. And boy, am I excited to come in and show you what they have done here. I mean, they have increased their plant size uh, over the last year, just enormous. They've increased their employees by 100 employees, but let's get on and show you what this place looks like. Okay, see, in this part of the building, see, they're bringing, they're having the sidewalls for the tab 320s, the tags, and the tab 400s made somewhere else, and they're brought in here, and now what they're doing is they're just the last minute touch-ups, getting windows and getting different things in them. Okay, so they bring in wood, as you can see here, and this is where they're gonna cut things down to what they specifically need. Everything is handmade here. So you see they have a CNC machine, and a lot of it is handcrafted here as well. This is where the bigger stuff is made. So again, now this is now where they're gonna start building the cabinets. And you can see they have everything set up. They get, their, uh, they get the prints for what they gotta build. And they just build according to what, you know, whether it's the tag, the tab 320 or the tab 400. So as you can see, all the wire is color coded according to what it is used for. It's on these nice big spools. So as you can see, they get the wiring comes in on the big spools. And then you have the workbenches here. And what they do is they're going to go ahead and get... Um, get the necessary uh, units together and they're going to put it in a bin so this will go to one unit so everything is pre-made for that unit now we have the plumbing area and in the plumbing area what you're going to have is all the pipes come in and then they have the workstations and they're going to make the plumbing lines for each specific unit and as you can see then they put it in a bin and once they have it together it is put right up here and it's ready to go. So this is where they bring the cabinets up and if there's any staining that needs to be done or any of the hinges, this is where they do it. They have it in this area as well as over here. So now they've had things built and what they do is they go ahead and line everything up over here and as they, as they need it for down below, they're putting it right on here and they're able to pull right from here. They can drop this down and grab the cabinets that they need as they needed to put them in. So this is some of the bigger stuff that they're putting in in the tab 320. As you can see, they have stuff here, the cabinets and so forth. And then this is that elevator. And what they'll do is they'll go ahead and just put things on there, load it, and then they drop it so that the folks down below so the folks down below are able to go ahead and just grab it and put it in the tab 320. So there's the tab 320 line. And then of course there is your tag line from start to finish. And notice how they have the, on either side, they have things stored there and they're able to grab things from down below 
as they need it to uh, use in their workstations. So if you wondered how do they load these things on the side, is you can see they have a loading area in between. So to the right is my tab 320, to the left is my tab 400. This is all cabinets for the tab 320 area. And what they do is they're gonna go ahead and get everything together and they're gonna just load it down on this particular area here. And then they're able to bring it down. And you can see this is the tab 400 assembly line. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The factory tour here at New Camp, Sugar Creek, Ohio. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Quite impressive, if I do say so myself. Um, I hope you did find it impressive as well. Uh, for more information on these campers or any others, be sure if you're in the market that you reach out to me. Uh, contact information below and uh, love the comments. Please reach out to me. I've got vlogs on Sunday where I'm going over different questions that come up uh, different, you know, different times on social media that I see that maybe need to be addressed. So if there's a particular question that you have, something you'd like me to review for you, a particular product you'd like me to review for you, just like I say, comment below, reach out to me, and we'll see what we can do. I appreciate you watching, and we'll be coming back.